What's up guys, Sean Fagan here from MuayThaiGuy.com and I've just started to start vlogging again because I just had a blast from the past on my Facebook timeline. A video came up of me and my now wife Liz here on Koh Phangan in Thailand living in a shack, like literally a shack that costs like $100 a month. And it was right on the beach, but there was no air conditioning. It was like infested with like geckos and other critters and stuff. And just looking back at that and having my birthday yesterday to reflect on just how far I've come in these five years. I want to share with you a little bit more insight behind my life and just give you a little bit more, I don't know, personal shit. So this way you can see that there's more to me than just Muay Thai. But this is the first attempt in that, and this will be just a vlog of our new house, which I'm super excited about. We're gonna be traveling, or Liz actually traveled already. She went to San Diego for a woman's entrepreneurial event. But I'm gonna be traveling in about a week's time to Spain to host another Muay Thai vacation. So we're not getting to enjoy it yet, but when we get back after our trips, I'm really excited just to get settled in. So let's do it. So first things first, Liz and I were living in a two bedroom uh, Thai style house in Tang Sala the past year and a half, right near Diamond Muay Thai. But uh, recently we were just on Facebook in one of those groups and this house came up and it just seemed like too good to be true. And I decided to put down the deposit even though I wasn't in Thailand at the time to take a look at the house because I just had a good feeling about it. So that's a little backstory to it. Now we're in Hot Salad. It's so much more quiet, very peaceful. It's fucking beautiful out here. I, we literally have to walk on the beach for five minutes and like through a little patch of the jungle to get to our house. And at first I thought it was gonna be inconvenient, but it happened to be like, it happens to be very peaceful and meditative and can't go wrong with it. So, welcome to my house. All right, so first things first, this guy, his name is Duke, Duke. What's up, bro? Hey, bro. So a little insight on Duke before I even get to the house is that he was a beach dog right here. He was stray and we were walking by him almost every single day. And he was just so sad and miserable and he was like infested with ticks. And we just couldn't keep walking by it every day. So we decided to take him to PAX, which is on animal care something and they took care of him, did a great job. They got off all his ticks. Yeah, he's just, he's a whole new dog now. We just feed him a little bit, give him some love. Now he just kind of lives at the house as an adopted dog. Our other dog, Sway, so we call her Sway, but it's like Sway, which means beautiful in Thai. We end up just calling her Sway. And uh, we originally got her from Chiang Mai at an animal, at a dog shelter. And now she's kind of, not so sure about Duke yet. They're still getting to know each other, but they're coexisting happily for now, as long as they don't eat each other's food. So that's Duke, and this is why we got this house. My heavy bag, yoga, hammock, and it's all with a, oh shit, with a sea, sea view right here. I got this shit branded, as you can see. Not more nation, represent. And I also got it branded with a Muay Thai guy. I never thought I was going to be the Muay Thai guy for the record. I just thought it was a cool name, but it didn't work. But yeah, Muay Thai guy. Boom, all right. And I filled this bag, by the way, with uh, shredded coconut husks, clothing, and some sand. It still needs to like get settled, so it's kind of light. But I'm gonna be doing a lot more video work with heavy bag workouts, follow lawns, all that kind of shit. So keep an eye out for that. So yeah, that's the heavy bag. And then this is essentially my area. And this is Liz's area. She's got her weights out. She's got a nice hammock right here. Some TRX bands. And this view just, I don't think will ever get old. So that's the underneath patio area. We have a lot of ideas for what we want to do with this. We're thinking about like doing some Airbnb experiences with Muay Thai and yoga and snorkeling and all that kind of shit, or just having like week long masterminds here. I don't know, but we're gonna make this place sick. This used to be actually a bar and they have like a bathroom back here and a kitchen. And so who knows, possibilities are endless. What do you think we should do with this whole area underneath us? But now let's get to the main part of the house. 
So you got up here, and we have our balcony with a view. This has been a great table because come out here, drink some coffee, enjoy some view, do some journaling and reading. Then I guess I'll show you the front of the balcony, which is here. So we got all this. I can't tell you how relaxing and motivating it is to wake up to this shit. All right, that's the balcony. And we also got some stuff back here as well. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you got that rainbow float. That's Liz's float. It's been an awesome investment. Costs like 50 bucks, but I believe we're getting $50 use out of it. Got a little grill, garbage, basic shit. And this right in front of me is the guest house. So inside here is the guest house. And this is where we've already had my uh, good friend, Paul, the Nashik. He's a fellow pro fighter from MuayTaiAthlete.com. Him and his girlfriend Mia stayed here, had a great time, celebrated birthdays, and yeah, we're thinking about, like I said, down below, doing some type of, uh, I don't know, week-long mastermind or private some shit. I don't know, but possibilities, bro, possibilities. All right, now let's go into the main house. Duke is here to greet us. And yeah, this is the living room. You got a nice cool breeze and you can just hear the ocean. There's so much natural light. It's wonderful. So let's move on from the living room and let's meet this girl, Sway. Hey, hey. She is our dog that we got five years ago from Chiang Mai. She was at Care for Dogs and my wife fell in love with her. So I fell in love with her, and now she's our doggy. And from here we have the bathroom, which you can see. And now out from here, got my Muay Thai stuff hanging out here. Got another mirror, hey. Some more gloves, vacuum storage, which is great. And then from here, go into my office. So as you walk into my office, I have fight posters here. This is weird doing this on camera. Here, and I also got some inside. Give you just a little insight on this one. I fought with my friend Alex. Boom. We call him Blex on the poster, naturally. And uh, I fought a hard southpaw. I won a decision. Really tough fight, but learned a lot from it. And then we also have this poster, which is my most recent fight. And. That one I lost by TKO in the fourth round via head kick to this dude. Really good fighter, and I would like to fight him again because I think I can beat him. Just with a few adjustments here and there, but you can watch that fight video if you want. It's on the YouTube channel. And then let's go into my office. And as you can see, that's my computer back there. My desk. Welcome. And my little notebook, I write a lot of shit out. And then, still figuring this shit out. Ah. I got this poster with Paul, me and him falling the same card. I fought Ad Dumb. Ad Dumb. And I lost that fight on decision, but I felt really good. That was like something, that was like one of the best fights I've had. I thought I won, but I didn't. They should the beast. And then this one was against Big Ball. That's his name, Big Ball. And this dude gave me like the hardest fight. Besides my fight where I broke my arm in, my, in the first round, and won, by the way, this guy just beat the living shit out of me for four rounds. But fortunately, uh, I was able to get the knockout in the fifth round. It was fucking epic. Crazy, crazy fight. But yeah, this is my office. Got a little couch. And yeah. And yeah, that's my office. And now let's go into essentially Liz's room, which is the bedroom right here. This is the bedroom. Right, this is my side of the bed. It's her side of the bed. You can tell this is her room because her whole dresser's in here. She has her vanity shelves. And this whole dresser, this whole big ass dresser, that's all hers. Mine's in my office. I am grounded to the office, which I'm kind of happy about sometimes. Here is her office. This is a beautiful little room. And uh, I would take it if I didn't wake up before her. 
because if this was my office, I'd be typing and doing all this shit, and she'd still be sleeping, and she'd want to fucking kill me. So this is her office. So that's my house, and let me just say how extremely grateful I am for this lifestyle and for being able to do what I love for a living. If it wasn't for you, my fans and followers, I wouldn't be able to do this, so thank you so much for all your love and support. And also, thanks to my haters, yo, because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have people to prove wrong and keep me motivated when, uh, when shit hits the fan. So yeah, thanks to the lovers, thanks to the haters, thanks to everyone who follows or is watching this video. And speaking of which, I want to give back a little bit more to the community. I mean, my, my goal for Muay Thai Guy is to help people unleash their full potential through the power of Muay Thai. Like, I've become more disciplined, uh, more self-accountable, uh, more self-aware, in better shape physically, mentally, and spiritually that I know that Muay Thai can do the same for you. But uh, a second thing that I want to do is help people create this type of lifestyle where they're able to sculpt the life of their dreams based around their passion or whatever they want to do. And it wasn't until I read the four hour work week where all this kind of clicked. And so my goal now is to help other people do that kind of shit too. So if creating a dream life around your passion, around online business is something that you'd be interested in doing, just uh, drop your email in the link below or click the link below and uh, fill out the quick form. I'll see if it's something that I could help you along with. But yeah, thanks again so much for following, for watching. And the next vlog I'll get to you is probably in Spain because that's where I'm hosting the next Muay Thai vacations. So I'll see you there. Thanks so much.